Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, the European Outlook for today's second video. So as well as on a Thursday, we're having a look at the weather for the next week, 10 days in detail for uh, Europe. And I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video we say was our 6am upload. We've got a 10 to 14 day coming up to you shortly. And Terry Scroll is December. Our winter thoughts will be released at 7pm this evening please like share subscribe on videos and thank you so very much everyone for doing that exciting day but then me josh for winter of course today uh so this is the uh, situation across europe for this first day of uh, meteorological winter we've got high pressure over scandinavia developing and uh you know ridging into western parts of europe as well lower pressure down across southern parts of europe here's today's upper air temperature showing that cold air is beginning to develop under that ridge of high pressure across northern Europe. The uh, far west and also southern parts of Europe are getting the mildest upper air temperatures today. And precipitation wise, there's lots of dry weather under that ridge of high pressure, some light snow flurries across parts of uh, Scandinavia around the Baltic Sea, uh, a little bit of patchy rain coming into the far north and west of Scotland, some heavy showers and thunderstorms in southern and eastern parts of Spain, and more general heavy showers and storms over on the eastern side of the Med. But that said, many areas are actually uh, dry today under that ridge of high pressure. And it's cold across northern and northeastern uh, Europe, cold well and truly entrenched into the Baltic Sea states of uh, Latvia, Estonia and uh, Lithuania. And uh, further northwards in towards Finland and northwestern Russia, also bitterly cold through there. And uh, much of Scandinavia looking uh, cold also. Uh, further south and west, there is a milder scene, although under the air of high pressure, of course, we have uh, probably going to start generating uh, dense patches of fog, and that will have a cooling effect on the temperature. Mildest temperatures are down in the med train today, as you expect. <coughs> Excuse me, tomorrow, Friday, we'll find high pressure building further across Scandinavia and northern Europe, more of an easterly breeze getting going. Across the far north of Europe. Meanwhile, out to the far west and southwest, uh, cut off areas of low pressure off the coast of Portugal. Uh, the upper air temperatures show colder air gradually drifting into some western parts of Europe as that easy breeze begins to uh, pick up. Both the coldest upper air temperatures are in the north, mildest upper air temperatures again in the far south and eastern uh, parts of Europe. Uh, temperature precipitation wise, uh, tomorrow on Friday, so some heavy showers are possible again through the central pole of the Mediterranean, could be a few thunderstorms there, um, and down to southeast parts of Spain as well. Otherwise, though, lots of dry weather again with that area of high pressure. The emphasis is going to be on mostly dry conditions, a few snow flurries across far north of Europe, but not amounting to too much. Again, we see very cold temperatures tomorrow across Scandinavia and much of eastern. Northeast Europe with the mildest temperatures once more in the south and west. But bear in mind again that we will be generating mist and fog under this ridge of high pressure, or the area of high pressure that's reaching into the west. So um, that will have a limiting effect on temperature with anywhere that finds itself under those uh, dense fog patches. Saturday, we'll see uh, high pressure over northwestern Russia, Siberian high, reaching into Scandinavia with an increasingly easterly uh, influence to the wind across northern parts of Europe, lower pressure down in the uh, south and in the southwest perhaps. The upper air temperatures look like that. Again, quite cold over Scandinavia, we can get minus 10 Celsius iceberg appearing uh, there, so getting colder actually. The minus 5 Celsius iceberg beginning to come over the North Sea into eastern parts of England. Meanwhile, further south, though, across southern Europe, the upper air temperatures look relatively mild through there. And precipitation wise, there'll be further heavy showers and thunderstorms being generated by that contrast of the mild air to the south and the cold air to the north. That will generate more showers and thunderstorms through the central pole of the Med in particular, so the Balearic Islands, Corsica, just Sardinia, again getting uh, some heavy showers and storms, and most storms drifting in southern parts of France, and also into uh, parts of Italy as well, potentially, and over the Asiatic towards the Balkans, we might get some heavy showers beginning to uh, break out. A band of showy rain moving into the far north and west of the UK and Ireland, more showers possible through parts of Spain, but uh, from like eastern France, the low countries of Germany, north and east, there's going to be a lot of dry weather again, there's that area of high pressure, just a few light snow flurries scattered about 
in places and looking very cold for northern and northeastern Europe as well. Bitterly cold from there, and those cold temperatures are being to extend a little bit further westwards through Poland and in towards Germany uh, as well. The uh, temperatures will be turning colder into the weekend. Sunday, we'll find a big blocking area of high pressure from uh, Russia out in towards the North Atlantic with the easterly winds developing across much of northern Europe. Meanwhile, further south, low pressure continuing to develop across southern parts of Europe. The upper air temperatures show colder air coming across the North Sea into the UK and Ireland, looking bitterly cold. Most tens of outside sperm through northern parts of Scandinavia and also into Finland and around the northern shores of the Baltic Sea. Further south, the upper air temperatures are milder, though. <coughs> Excuse me, once again, three parts of uh, France, low temperatures and Germany. And over onto the eastern side of Europe as well. Precipitation wise, heavy showers and further storms through the central part of there, extending into Italy and uh, around the Adriatic and uh, in towards parts of Greece as well. Some showers and storms possible through there. More showers through parts of Spain and Portugal and showers developing through the Bay of Biscay, threatening parts of southwest and Ireland. Once again, under that area of high pressure over north, the emphasis is on dry weather, but any precipitation around that will be a little bit through northern parts of Germany. For example, and uh, up into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, and there, but precipitation will obviously be falling as uh, snow, given that it will be bitterly cold across the north and northeast of Europe with uh, temperatures sub zero by day and by night. And that colder air is extending further westwards with time as well, so temperatures falling into the weekend. Monday finds easy winds continuing across the northern parts of Europe, courtesy of this area of high pressure through Scandinavia to Western Russia. High pressure also beginning to build up around Greenland and Iceland. Uh, you will notice further south, low pressure continues uh, across southern parts of Europe. Uh, upper air temperatures look cold through the north, milder uh, further south. And again, lots of dry weather under that area of high pressure, but there will be some light snow around through these northern parts of Europe, and heavy showers and further storms through the Bay of Biscay down into uh, Portugal and into southern parts of Spain. Mostly dry through the central bowl of the Med, and then more showers, but they do look quite light over on the eastern side of Europe. The answer is still on dry weather in many areas on Monday under that area of high pressure and bitterly cold as well in the north and northeast of Europe. Turning colder further west with southern Europe looking relatively mild. Once more into Tuesday, low pressure around Biscay starting to drift a little bit further north into France, pulling winds into more of a southeasterly uh, west side of Europe. So we can get a little bit milder perhaps up or less cold at the western side of the Europe on um Tuesday, upper air temperatures show the coldest air again is up in the far north of uh, Europe. It is turning a little bit milder through France and just about into southeastern parts of England as well. With both south sea winds, precipitation wise, heavy showers are first launched through uh, Spain and into France, long spells of rain possible too. And uh, some precipitation extending further northwards and towards the UK and Ireland as well. That will be mostly cold rain, but could have a little bit of winteriness in it uh, across northern parts of uh, Britain. And then further eastwards, heavy showers and storms again through this southeastern corner. Uh, they extend a little bit further northwards in towards Poland, be mostly snow with that, and into uh, southern parts of Sweden. Could be some snow there, otherwise, quite a lot of dry weather in northern eastern Europe. But that's where it's bitterly cold again through the north and through the east and northeast of Europe. Temperatures will be subject just a little bit less cold up this western side of Europe on Tuesday. Wednesday pulling in more of an easterly again across the uh, west of but Europe that will start to bring cold air back into northern parts of uh, Scotland and northern England. Relatively mild through France, Spain, Portugal and into the central bowl of the main coldest further north. In fact you'll see that the upper air temperatures are becoming colder across the far north of Scandinavia and into Finland as well. So uh, there will be some snow across northern parts of uh, Europe on Wednesday, uh, introducing that even colder air from uh, Arctic sources. Meanwhile, further south, we're going to have some light snow through parts of Poland in particular, and then heavy showers and further storms into the southeastern part of the uh, Mediterranean. A big area of wet weather through Ireland into the far south and west of England and uh, through much of western France and down to Spain and Portugal and the central part of the Med. There were some big storms through northern parts of, uh, of uh, well, north parts of Spain there and the southern parts of France. And temperature wise again bitterly cold in the north and the east of Europe and uh, becoming a little bit colder through like Germany below countries into the UK again I think as the wind goes more easterly 
on Wednesday. Thursday starts to see high pressure increasingly dominating across uh, scan across uh, Greenland and Iceland, and uh, that will start to pull even colder air southwards into northern parts of Europe. Notice the upper air temperatures are becoming ever colder there, so the cold is intensifying across northern Europe on uh, Thursday. Um, further westwards, relatively uh, mild conditions from France, Spain, Portugal, that's sending into all southern parts of England as well. There's quite a bit of uncertainty about this, I have to say. So don't take this too literally, really, from the middle of the week onwards. Um, um, Precipitation wise, so heavy snow is likely through these eastern, northeastern parts of uh, Europe, uh, with that bitterly cold air, uh, you know, um, intensifying. Further southwards, heavy showers and thunderstorms again, pretty much up the Mediterranean. Uh, Italy, for example, will see some big storms. Guska, Sardinia, and rain sink snow over the Adriatic and in towards the Balkans as well. The wet weather in the far southwest of the UK and Ireland gradually retreating back into the Atlantic, I think. Look how cold it's turning across northern and northeastern Europe on Thursday. Really bitterly cold. And uh, those cold temperatures are beginning to advance further westwards into Poland and into eastern parts of Germany as well. And then I'll just run you on to day 10. This is Friday the 9th of December. Again, huge blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. Winds pulling into the north of northern Europe. And then into the weekend of the 10th of the 11th of December, that very cold air gets pulled further westwards on those east to northeast winds. The risk of snow will be extending from northern and northeast of Europe westwards across many parts of uh, Europe. If I show you, the uh, upper air temperatures, uh, you can see that most parts of Northern Europe have been plunged into a bitterly cold weather. Southern Europe still looking relatively mild. That's how the upper air temperatures look. Surface temperatures on Sunday look like that. And yes, it's a very cold scene across much of Europe by the 11th of December. Goodness gracious me, big freeze on the way for much of Northern Europe. Right, that's it. Very interesting week to come. Be case of keeping an eye on the forecast on a day-by-day -day basis to watch this cold spell uh, developing and intensifying. And, uh, and, of course, we'll be keeping you updated at Gaz Weather. So until the middle of next week, I'm anyway, I'm off for a few days. So that means there's going to be no uh, European outlook next Thursday. It will be back in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and uh, for this Europe now, that's all, all for now. I'll be back later on with 10 to 14 day and Terry Scroll this December and winter forecast. So come back for that then. For this week's European now, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.